Brad back with backward chaining because we already did backward chaining, so now we're back to backward chaining. Anyway, the idea is with backward chaining, as previously stated, you have a task analysis, the teacher lets the learner do the last step to meet reinforcement, and you increase in a backward fashion, letting the learner get accomplished with those pieces. What leaps ahead is, is spots in that chain are could be easier for a kiddo to do. So I'm still going to use tying shoes. I had one kid where he couldn't get the middle, the actual crossing and going underneath and loops done, but he was able to pull up on the laces and he was able to pull laces together at the end. So in a leaps ahead chain, what I backward chain, what I was doing was letting him do the several steps he could do independently and helping him out through the parts of tying a shoe he's having a hard time with and then meeting reinforcement for finishing the last step of tying the shoe.